you would imagine in normal circumstances, uh, market participants in the framework of how markets have traded the past uh, months, years, would probably regard this as good news. Uh, mm. She would want to be sure uh, that the Fed doesn't start shifting away from what it's doing until there's a lot of evidence that there's a virtuous circle with unemployment going down and staying down. Um, and I would imagine for the rest of the world, particularly the, right. the beaten up emerging world, it's kind of good news. Well, Jim, uh, clearly the Federal Reserve has a domestic mandate here, jobs, growth, inflation. Mm -hmm. That's going to be her prerogative. Does this next Fed chairman, no matter who it is, likely to be Janet Yellen here, need to look more international, need to look at the Fed's policy <laughs> and the implications that they have on emerging markets and on financial markets around the globe? I, I, I see some important emerging Policymakers have been saying that the past 24 hours in DC. No, I don't think so. Uh, you know, the, as I have uh, uh, written about and said recently, you know, the job of the Fed is to do what's right for the US. But all these other countries around the world that seem to be upset with the Fed recently, but, you know, my view is right. get a life. You know, get a life and start well, developing your own uh, your own markets. Uh, this episode demonstrates the, the sort of prisoner's dilemma, as it's known, and the way to get out of that is developing the liquidity and usage of your own currencies.